another Louise 21 vlog with me your host Louise 21 and boy do we have a vlog for you today what a concert I've just been to enjoy this vlog <laughs> I'm wearing a hat guys and as you can see it's the next day what, what? no you wouldn't even know that but yeah this is the intro to the vlog but it's me the day after but yeah and I have a hat to prove that I was at a concert probably don't know or well, you don't know him because Unless you're Italian, you don't know him. Even if you're Italian, you might not know him. I mean, all the young people I've spoken to don't seem to like him, but they know of him. Um, but yeah, he's 52, but blimey, if you see how he gets around the stage, look at this. See what I mean? Look, look, look at, have you seen the way he moves? But yeah, so, I didn't really explain this in a previous vlog or anything. But before we talk about Giovanotti, let me just rewind, rewind slightly. Yeah, previous vlog. Art is love, art is life. Art is cool, art is now, art is a journey. Art is amazing, art is photography. I enjoyed that a lot, that was fun. That was Sunday and then this concert was the following day, Monday. Uh, I'm talking to you from Tuesday. Um, but yeah, I like doing these little intros before. Let me know if you reckon they're better or worse or whatever. Um, but yeah, I have got a little little bit build up to the concert. But it was just literally getting there, getting some vlog material done and trying to enjoy it because when you vlog, you just it's hard to take it in you're vlogging yeah and you have something to remember it by remember that moment by cherish it like actually live it and film it and get a bit for the instagram it's hard but it makes it worthwhile because then you have a way of remembering it because you know you get videos of content share them on facebook and all that but it's not the same when you've got a vlog and when you vlog like i do it's different it's like time capsule so I can look back in the future and go damn that was a good evening and through the vlog I remember it but of course some things are just in the moment and you're not gonna have a way of cherishing every single moment but do the best bits I mean I had a bit of an issue with the GoPro like I was so into the concert I didn't want to change the battery and like distract myself but it was better than I thought and he, he performed for a long time and he He's got such a variety of songs. This wasn't cheap, this hat. <laughs> so, go fund it right now. <laughs> Alright guys. Take it easy fam, peace. These are tomato plants guys, by the way. Yeah, let me get out first. What'd you say? Whee! Wembley. 
Wembley Arena though. But we've parked here for a few football matches over the years. Over this year. Especially the Madrid and Tottenham game. Yeah, yeah, go forward. Nope. That's how you do it. That's how you park a big vehicle. But yeah, like I said, parked here before to go to watch a few matches. But we're going to Wembley Arena for a concert. As you may have heard earlier, as I explained, you probably know who he is by now. Well, probably don't, but you probably have an idea based on what I've said. I hope you understand. I said years, we've been coming here for a year. Only in the time Spurs have been based here. <laughs> Is that it? Yes, it looks like an arena. We're actually not that early, are we? No, we're not that early, really. We're on time. It's already quarter past. So. Alright, but yeah, there'll be an opening act, in. so it'll be alright. Get one in there. Yeah. It is definitely summer in England, not often you say that. Construction. It's almost done. And that guy was on an electric bike. Uh. We're on the move again. Let's get just a little snack on the road. Probably get some food in there. Yeah, let's avoid that bus. Is he gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? Yeah, he's gonna. No problem. Cheers. Okay, amigo, yeah? Yeah, I'm right. Yeah. Let's speak Italian. Cheers. We're in England, though. Yeah, no, I'm joking. Stavo raccontando a mia figlia 
I was telling to my daughter this morning at lunch that uh, when I was 14, 15, when I was with Nishani, I told to my parents that uh, uh, um, my school was organizing a trip to London, no? one week. Uh, una gita, quindi I need uh, 100.000 lire, blah blah blah, blah insomma, eh? Okay, and they, they were trusting me a lot when I was a child, I don't know why. They, no reason, there was no reason for this. But anyway, they were trusting and so they gave me the money and uh, actually I was lying because uh, I came here to London alone with a friend of mine. No school. He never, they never knew anything about that for all their life. Now my, my father and my, fa and my mother are, are gone and listening from the sky so I can tell them thank you for your trust. Because, uh, perché grazie alla vostra fiducia cieca e a me malandrino fece questo viaggio a Londra in una settimana che mi, come succede a tutti voi quando venite la prima volta in questa città no? non te ne vuoi andare tu e adesso siamo qui dopo un sacco di anni 3, 4, qui abbiamo 15 anni quindi insomma parliamo di 36 anni fa wow! e io vengo dall'Italia il paese più pazzo del mondo siamo campioni del mondo di qualcosa sempre siamo sempre campioni del mondo di qualche specialità la mia in particolare si chiama è uno sport che si gioca a squadre squadre di almeno 5.000 persone minimo e si chiama spero che lo facciano disciplina olimpica coduria totale e adesso vi canto una canzone che parla del paese più pazzo del mondo ma in maniera ballerina perché in effetti l'Italia è un paese melodico ma dove si parla anche parecchio Afrobeat in Italia, in Italia, in Italia. l'origine della goduria musicale, no? quando uno arriva qui e per la prima volta entra, io mi ricordo un locale, il WEC si chiamava, forse non ce n'è anche più, ma negli anni 80 era una bomba, ci vedi Chabé che suonava, no? e una sera c'era un DJ che metteva della musica a dei passi, fammi sentire i passi. E io dico cazzo, io questo mestiere qua voglio fare. A me delle canzoni non me ne fregava niente, mi interessava di passi.
aquí me estamos pensando Eras un diablo y si somos todos fieles Que tu mamá es un dicho y te dan los puros frutos Y a lo que tú te fai, corosamente aspecto Y aspecto que yo desidero, venga con mi viso Yo soy un frío de amor y que te quiero un sorriso Abájate a la finestra What a concert I've just been to. Enjoy this vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. That is. And I will see you next time. Take it easy, fam.